Welcome to back to the Basketball Preview Show. Here with James Sutherland, the Syracuse swingman who has had quite the rise from where you were to begin your Syracuse career to where you are at this point where you've kind of found your role as a shooter and as a guy who can go in there and get a rebound as possible. How's it been kind of that development from your freshman year to where you are now? Oh, it's been, a, it's been um, an interesting development, I would say, but um, it's mostly um, find, finding your niche. And I feel like my freshman, sophomore, and junior year, you just had to find your niche because there's a lot, a lot of players out there. We had a lot of talent, and we just, we just, you, we just try, to, I try to fit in as best as possible. I know in the past couple of years, we needed, a lot of shoot, uh, we needed some shooters, and um, having Dion, Chris, and having Scoop as a playmaker, he was going to get a lot of open shots because you have Chris, who goes to the basket, Dion, who, who um, attracts a lot of defenders, so I was going to be wide open for the shot. Now, at your time here at Syracuse, you've seen a, a quite a talent of wings here, of wing players, from watching Wes Johnson to seeing Chris Joseph and, and play. What's it like just seeing all those type of wings, knowing that that's your position? Oh, it's, it's, it's great, you know, just, especially when they're your friends and your teammates. You know, you, you, know, you, learn, you learn a lot from them in practice. And um, having also C.J. Fair, he's, he's also a great wing, and but it's just knowing that Syracuse has a lot of strong wings helps a lot, especially in that zone. Now, in the past, Jim Beheim has kind of gotten after you a bit for your lack of rebounding, but you've really took that part of your game and improved it as you've gone on. What are some of the things you've done to improve your rebounding? Oh, just with rebounding, you just got to make sure. You just got to really want it more. I mean, the ball's in the air. It's 50-50 for everybody. So um, it's a, I feel like just, 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 just going after it, just going and getting it and not worrying about anything else it definitely helps. Now, take me through the NCAA tournament last year. You really kind of bursted on the national scene, if you will, for Syracuse there. What was it like playing in the NCAA tournament? Oh, it was, it was, it was great, and it's always a great atmosphere, even though last year at Pittsburgh was a, it was a rough crowd. <laughs> But, especially uh, when the call's going against oh, you, yeah. going in your favor in a 61 upset. Yeah, <laughs> and um, it was it was just great. It's, it's great. You play in teams that you like really never play, never played before and don't know their style, and they're, everyone's bringing everything that they have. So Syracuse losing a few key players from last year's team. Coach Beheim said the four best. Uh, do you keep in contact with all four of the guys who left? Oh yeah, I've actually seen Dion last week, and um, Chris I spoke to the other uh, a couple days ago. And he's um, he's loving it out there, and they're doing, he, they're doing well. So that's all, that's wishing the best. All, of all the guys who got drafted for the Yorns, you know of any kind of cool purchases that they made? No, but Chris Joseph does keep telling me about the food on the plane and how crazy it is. <laughs> <laughs> so you know those guys will have those NBA stories. But for this Syracuse team this year, you talked about how they lost the four best. Now, where your role coming again, more of a shooter? Do you expect your role to kind of be the same as what it was in the past, or do you think you'll grow a little bit more? Oh, uh, definitely grow a little bit more, and just being an impact player. Right now, uh, Brandon and I are seniors, so we're definitely going to be impact players, and there's going to be a lot of attention on Brandon and I, and. Just showing, showing everybody that I could not only do more, but um, um, stay, um, do it without forcing anything. Now, Coach Beheim did say that Brandon Trish was a good player before, that he expects him to be a great player this year. You're in his class. What have you seen that make him say something like that? Oh, that well, Brandon's been here since he's been he's he's been starting since um since he first got here, and um, I've seen a lot of progression from him and. Even though at times he used to shy, shy away, but um, I feel like he's a, he's a senior now, he's a leader, and I've been seeing it in practice when we're working out. Uh, he's seeing, like, I, I can definitely see the difference between this year and last year. He's, he's definitely attacking a lot more. He's being more aggressive. One of the seniors on this Syracuse team, James Sutherland, thank you so much for your time. No problem.